Kids in Tech. This video is going to be on data transfer. Data transfer is a moving and numeric information stored in one memory word location or value to another word in a different location. Figure 1 and Figure 2 show the concept of moving data from one location to another. In Figure 1, N7 colon 0 word, so it's a 16-bit word, has a numeric value, binary data value in there. So we can see in these 16 bits, in 0, 0, we have a high, low, high, 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 low, and so on. So it actually has a value stored within N7 colon 0. If we look at the word below N7 colon 1 integer file, so this word, which is an integer file, so a 16-bit, has nothing currently stored in that memory location. And what's going to happen is when you want to move a memory word, this is going to show you that N7 colon 0 data has been transferred to N7 colon 1 word. So in figure 2 here, you can see that N7 colon 0, the word here, has all its data has been now transferred over to N7 colon 1. Everything matches from that word to another. So I'm going to show you how you're going to transfer this data. And how you can transfer this is using the move instruction, so MOV. The move is an output instruction that moves data from one word to another. The value that is to be moved is the source, and the location the data is being moved to is the destination. When the logic in front of the move instruction is true, in this, in this drawing here we have an i colon 0, 12 slash 0, 1, so when it is true, the move instruction moves the source data to the destination data location. The source and the destination can be a constant or an address. So in this sample here, you can see the source is an N7 colon 0. So just like our previous slide that we just looked at, the N7 colon 0, so that's a whole word, is going to be moved into the destination N7 colon 1. You can also, in this other drawing I just brought up here, this other figure, when the reset push button is pressed, so at i colon 0 slash 1, you can see here we have a constant, not a whole word, we have a constant. So I chose 12. When that push button, that reset push button is pressed, the constant 12 will be moved into the preset of the counter. So we can see counter 5 colon 0 dot preset. When you press this reset button, this counter down below will take the preset value that is stored in the source in this move instruction. Let's do an example here of real world, real world and how we would use this application. So say a machine produces a product A and a product B. Product A requires a time delay of 10 seconds and product B requires a 20 second delay. So we have the timer for the program. We have a delay timer. And we have a time base of one. So everyone is a second. And right now we have nothing in the preset. If the operator goes and presses or the selector switch for product A, so that at I colon 0, 0, 12 slash 11. If that operator selects that, there's going to be information stored in N7 colon 1, so probably the information stored in that is for a 10 second delay. So when the operator selects product A, this information that's stored in this integer will be moved into the preset value of this timer. The same is to be true if the operator selects product B, it's a push button, the source is now going to be N7 colon 2, which will have the 20 second delay stored in there, will be moved into the destination of that timer. So using the same timer and the same logic behind that timer for your program, but depending on what product, product A or B is selected, will determine the preset value for that specific logic in that program. All right, let's look at another sample. A sawmill will produce 2x4s and 2x6s that are going to be packaged on the same line. When 2x4s are being packaged, there is to be 400 boards in a stack. 
When two by six is already gonna be packaged, there should be 250 boards in a stack. The counter on the packaging line must be set according to the product that is being packaged. So in this sample, we're gonna look at changing the preset value of a counter. So when packaging two by fours, there's gonna be 400 boards in a stack. So if the operator selects this I colon zero slash five, this move command will have a source of 400 and it will be moved into the destination of the C5 colon zero counter and it will have 400 as its preset. If the operator selects to package two by sixes, there will be a source of 250 moved into the counter. So depending on what the operator selects, that counter will either count up to 400 or count up to 250. Another way to transfer data is with the mask move, the MVM instruction. The MVM will move data word from one location to a destination word and allows portions of the data to be masked or blocked when being copied. So here's an example. Let's look at the stored words. So N7 colon 2. We look at the data that's stored there. It is all high. If we look at the source that we're going to be using with the instruction up above, which is an N7 colon 0. So this is the information is stored on this word that we wanted to be moving into N7 colon 2 but there's only parts of that information stored on that source that we want to move. So the next thing that we need to do is look at our mask. So currently it's in hexadecimal. You can see F O F O. When converted to binary, this is what the word is. So 00011100001111. So with the mask, basically we put a high on the bit location that we want to move and the information or the bits that we want to mask out, we put a zero. So at the final product, which is your destination, N7 colon two would look like this. So up above, it was all high. The information we want to move is here and the actual information that only moves is located on these ones. So we can see up above, if we look at the what was currently in N7 colon 2, so we had a 1 here, we look at our source as a 1, and we got 1. It was masked, so no matter if this was a 0, nothing would have moved. So let's look over where we actually have, um, where we actually want the information to be transferred over. So if we look at, say, uh, bit number 13, we can see originally on bit number 13, it was high. The source is zero. In our mask, we said, yes, we want to transfer that information on that bit. And this is what comes through. You can see it's a zero. So if we look somewhere else, where we didn't want the information to come through, we can see that on bit 11, the original value on N7 colon two was high, and we look at our source, bit 11 is low, right here, but then we look at our mask and we have a zero here. So that means that that information on bit 11 is low, but we do not want that information or that stored value to be passed on to N7 colon two. And you can see that once the move happens, that the value in, at bit 11 in N7 colon 2 did not change. So the source destination had no effect on the final product because it was masked out. All right, and that's all I have for the quick little lecture on the move commands. Now I'm going to move over to the programming and actually let you see how it works and how to implement it with using ladder logic. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out and you can see the next video with it working. Thank you.